Once you have observed and complied with all safety information, the valve control function must be checked initially. In the normally closed position, the optical position indicator is not visible. In the normally open position, the optical position indicator is visible. The diaphragm replacement is carried out using a normally closed valve as an example. The actuator must be moved to the open position through activation with compressed air. This position has been reached when the red position indicator can be seen in the transparent cap. Now position the Game Use Service tool in the correct position on the central nut and undo it anti-clockwise. A torque wrench can be used for assistance. Then remove the actuator from the valve body. Move the actuator to the closed position. First, unscrew the old diaphragm anti-clockwise. Doing so may cause the compressor to fall out of the actuator. Reinsert it in the correct position. Then remove the old O-ring from the actuator. When removing the old O-ring using an appropriate tool, ensure that the guide groove is not damaged. Carefully open the double protective packaging and remove the spare parts. Now insert the new O-ring into the guide groove. Before screwing in the new diaphragm, remove the protection cap from the diaphragm pin. Then screw in the new diaphragm clockwise until resistance can be felt. Move the actuator to the open position. The fixing lugs in the actuator and the fixing grooves in the valve body indicate the correct installation position. Position the actuator on the body and tighten the central nut clockwise until it is hand tight. Position the Game Use Service Tool in the correct position on the central nut. And attach the torque wrench in the extension for the service tool handle. Failure to do so will result in an incorrect torque. Tighten the central nut to the specified torque. Finally, move the valve to the closed position. The diaphragm replacement is now complete. Check the valve after one week and re-tighten the central nut if necessary.